Hey everybody, what's going on? My name is Langston John Blaze, and I'm a writer here in Atlanta. And my friend Crystal Williams asked me to make this video basically talking about what it means to be a leader. So, um, in thinking about being a leader, I would say that your natural instincts either make you a follower or a leader. And I think that the word follower has a bad reputation because if you have the right people that are guiding you in life, eventually you can take on that next leadership role. Uh, after you know you've been taught, you know, hopefully by the right people that are you know leading you in the right direction, and that can coach you and and just give you a, a sense of guidance that feels like you know this is the this is the great way to go. Um, I think that we start to show leadership qualities early on in life, even as kids that are uh, in junior high and in, in high school when you start to be a part of different activities like student council and. Uh, even being the, the, on the cheerleading team or the basketball team or being someone that um, others seem to look to, you know, whenever you have a project or there's some sort of event coming, going on where it takes a lot of discipline to get things done. Uh, those people that, even in, within your class, I'm pretty sure there's someone um, that is used to being that uh, person of, of, of direction. You know the, uh, the director of the group that you know is putting everybody together and, and maybe giving this person a particular assignment and and maybe giving this particular person something else to do uh, within a group. So I think that we look for people um, to guide us in the right in the right direction. And hopefully, if you are someone that uh, seems to be able to you know listen and, and, and take in what um, intelligent people are giving to you. Hopefully you can, you know, branch off and sometimes you don't even realize it. You become a leader without even knowing it. I know for personally for myself, I've always felt like someone that was good at taking direction from other people. And so but surely as I became an author, I realized that I was going to need to take my own direction. Because one thing that we don't realize, and this is with everybody, we're all leaders. Because you had to get out that bed this morning to get to this class. And, and so on and so forth with your life, there there comes particular time points when, in your life where your mother, your father, your teacher can't do things for you. You know, you can only be directed so much to the point where you have to embody that leadership role within yourself because uh, it's very important or you're not going to get anywhere in life. Uh, most definitely, I believe that. So those different things begin to escalate and exalt these leader characteristics, people like Malcolm X um, and, and Martin Luther King Jr. Who, who were willing to, in a sense, pretty much risk their own lives to fight for equality. Uh, people like Harriet Tubman, people uh, a part of the Harlem, uh, the Harlem Rocks uh, Renaissance, excuse me, the Harlem Renaissance era, uh, being able to, to put themselves out there to uh, illustrate their art, uh, speak about their art, be poetic, Langston Hughes, um, whom I was named after by the way, um, and so on and so forth. So I believe it's very important to not only be a leader, but <clears throat> if you don't have those natural abilities to uh, be that director, be that guider, go ahead and be that follower to listen to those people that are giving you the great advice and hopefully be able to take that leadership role and uh, hopefully influ be influential to someone younger than you or maybe even older, older than you that you can lead in the, in the right direction and give key advice and, and so on and so forth and you know bring a, a completely new perspective to that person's life. Alright, so this is Langston John Blaze and I hope you guys have a great day. Peace.